Hi, this is Luca the Gamer, and we're going to talk about aspects in Diablo 4. Many of the best builds in Diablo 4 make use of powerful aspects, which can be found on legendary weapon drops or by completing dungeons to acquire aspects that are then added to your codex of power. You can then take these to the occultist to upgrade your gear. So in this video we're going to cover how to acquire aspects, how to look for aspects that will best suit your build, as well as when to upgrade your gear, as upgrading is an expensive business. So there are a few different ways you can acquire aspects in Diablo 4. The first way is via dungeons. This is the easiest way to get an aspect that fits your build. You can use the Codex of Power to find out which dungeon drops the aspects you want. But regions are level gated, which means you might need to level up before you can head to the dungeons to grab the aspects you need. Aspects can also be found on legendary item drops, and that aspect can then be removed from the item at the occultist so that you can use it on another piece of gear. But be aware that removing an aspect destroys the legendary item. You can also get legendary item drops from gambling with murmuring obols at the purveyor of curiosities. You shouldn't imprint aspects too early, as gear is easily replaced in the early game and during the leveling process. However, if you've found a decent piece of gear that applies to your build, you can imprint the aspect, upgrade it at the blacksmith and continue to use it for some time. However, there's a good chance you will still replace that item somewhere down the line. So don't be too overzealous with how much gold, and more importantly, veiled crystals you're spending to imprint aspects. Veiled crystals are an important upgrade material that you will need to imprint aspects onto gear, and they can be acquired by salvaging rare items and can occasionally drop during quests, defeating monsters, and opening chests. Treasure goblins also have a high chance of dropping them as well. It's important to keep in mind though that there are quite a few variables when you're planning to use your aspects to upgrade gear. Most aspects are usually tied to a certain type of gear, such as amulet or gloves. Aspects that you've extracted from gear can only be used once, which means that you need to be very careful when you apply this to another item. If it's a particularly strong aspect for your build, it's probably worth holding onto it until you get your hands on better gear, because you can't extract an aspect more than once. However, aspects that you have acquired from a dungeon and can find in your codex of power can be used as many times as you'd like. Overall, we recommend holding onto your found aspects until later in the game, whereas you can start to consider imprinting as you approach level 50 if your build requires a specific aspect to really get started. So there's our advice on how to use aspects in Diablo 4. Thanks for watching and check out thegamer.com for more.